What's good, yo? It's your boy, Mr. G. Oh, yeah. Back yeah. at it with another movie review. Today, we got Batman. I mean, oh, wait. We got The Flash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo! Batman, baby, DC. Uh, so, yes, we have The Flash. This is a spoiler review. Uh, before we get started, though, please drop a sub, drop a follow, drop a like, drop whatever. Please drop anything and stop by. We hit 55 reviews, the last one, for Fast X. Let's try to get 75. I think that would be pretty sick. Um, but thank you guys for that. Um, and, yeah. Today I have, over here, Maz and Old Bagel. Uh, they got to see the movie with me and my parents today. Uh, I got to see it yesterday, so this is my second time watching it. Uh, it is, forgot the director's name, Andy something. Andy M. And the, um, it's a long... Mishanti. Yeah, well, so, yeah well, something, something like that. I know the director, he directed um, it, both It chapters, the new really? It chapters, one oh, and two. Right. Yeah, he's a he's a horror director. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, like, I some scenes... I was scenes, horrified in some of this. Yeah, yeah some of the scenes, I was horrified. <laughs> 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 Man, we might have different opinions. Uh, different parts horrified, that's <laughs> it. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> so we have uh, Ezra Miller. Uh, they played The Flash. Um... Barry Allen. We also had us uh, Michael Keaton comes back as Batman from was it nineteen eighty nine? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. the, the Tim Tim like the yeah. Tim Burton Batman, the, right? Yeah, the first two Tim Burton movies. Um, and then we also have Ben Affleck as Batman as well. Sasha Kaye, Supergirl. Uh, a lot of cameos. Uh, a lot of cameos. Zod, Michael Shannon. Oh, Michael Shannon Zod. Yes, yes, yes. He was uh, one of the. Antagonist, yeah, 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 the antagonist. So, but yeah, uh, what did you guys think of the movie? Better than I expected. Yeah, uh, okay. there's a lot of negative and positive reviews out there about this movie. Um, I think it ended up coming together okay. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't developmental hell for like a good three or four years. Yeah. And then with everything that happened, I don't want to get too much into it with the whole Ezra Miller thing. I know there's a lot of, um, you know, strong opinions on on they yeah. them being there. Uh, could still cast it as the Flash. Uh, Lots of other people worked on it, though. Yeah, hundreds, a lot, a lot of people. Hundreds so, of like, people, I'm sure, worked on this. So you know, taking away from everybody for one person is rough. Yeah, and I mean, they didn't uh, throughout the press tour. They they themselves didn't do anything with the press. Yeah, uh, it was really Sasha was actually the one carrying it. Makes sense. Sasha and Ben. Uh, Michael Keaton was actually filming Beetlejuice 2. Oh, so, that's happening? Yeah, that's uh, happening. That's happening. Oh, fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> he was honestly my favorite part of the oh, movie. Oh, phenomenal. Okay. So, we start off, right? We start off with... Barry trying to get I know, I wasn't there for it, for this, but I did get to see it yesterday. <laughs> but... What you guys think of that beginning scene? Oh, with the hospital? With the hospital. Oh. That that's that's the part I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was horrific. <laughs> with the CGI. The CGI yes, was yes, like yes. that from twenty years ago. I don't get what Those the hell babies. They were doing. PlayStation two PlayStation yeah. two graphics. Yeah. No, I, I feel you. Uh what was funny is that the director kept saying like, Oh, it's like that because that's how Barry sees it when he's in the Speed Force. So yeah. I don't but think he sees a baby <laughs> looking like a doll. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, the CGI is not great in this movie at all. It kind of, honestly, after watching it a second time, it gave me the first Wolverine movie. Yes, mm. the Origins. Yeah. Origins? Yeah. Before it finally came out. Yeah, when, when we, we got the bootleg. The, the bootleg. <laughs> we got the copy. bootleg, yeah. Oh, it looked very like, similar. It to wasn't that completely type of done, thing. and it feels like this movie just needed a, a bit, few more months to just be polished up. Well, more money is really the situation. It's, it really was, it is more money, but they were not going to put more money into you this movie. You could always yeah. tell. Who the actual Barry was? Yeah, yeah. Some, some, some scenes it was better. Than some scenes were better. Yeah, absolutely, were better. you're right. I kind of wish they did it with the um, Parent Trap with yeah, the double yeah. filming. The double filming. They yeah. should have just done that, in my yeah, opinion. It's more expensive. Mm -hmm. It takes twice as long to film any scene. No, it's true. I think they probably did those when it was just Ezra because it seemed like it was more. Okay. You don't really have to deal with too many outside true. things, like when they're true. in his room. That help, actually, that it helps does a look lot. like it's yeah. in a lot. But it's a lot easier to es do especially because like at the that. time like everything that was going on with Ezra like I f we don't know how the crew yeah like you know people felt yeah like, so yeah. like 
<laughs> the fact that the fact that he got to really play, uh, they got to really play around, uh, play like, w- like. Don't bring him in this room. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> no, don't dude, just put him on. Just talk to yourself, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. but uh, uh, so yeah, we do. We start off crazy CGI. The idea was cool, right? Because like at first he's about to start. Barry's about to start saving all the babies, but he's low on food. Mm-hmm. And then he goes and he's like munching on all the food and it just goes to show you how fast the flash really is that that right? was cool you know it what I mean? is a little odd that he essentially stopped time yeah in the hospital yeah yeah yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah this, this is true yeah the end <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah uh, so like i mean it's not that odd he did no, that I mean, in, the, in the other movies Kind of. I mean, he went back in time in the other movie. Which so. essentially means yeah. He I guess he is at that point, point where yeah. he can. If you can go back, you could probably stop. Yeah. What I did like about this though is that we got a more seasoned Flash, especially from the Justice League. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like he knew his shit. No he origin. Had the, he had the costume. Yeah. The costume was sick. I don't know if you guys noticed, but remember, Barry without the costume, blue lightning. Barry with the costume, it had the yellow. I noticed. Lightning. I was. That's I why said that's that to happening. him yeah. earlier. Yeah, I was like, it. "How? That doesn't make sense." I thought it was He's just to, to distinguish. I so it it I, it's from the costume. I don't know, bro. Like that's no, even in the old movies, it was always red. I thought no, it was blue. It was blue in the old movies. Yeah, in the Justice League. When remember, I remember specifically when Henry oh. Cavill is holding everyone, and you see, and he sees Barry running. He's blue. It's blue. The, okay. You see the lightning okay. all blue. I guess I'm thinking about the whole Grand Gust. It's also um, not able to discharge correctly, and that might also be why it's blue. Yeah. Versus what? The Meanwhile, yellow. the suit is able to charge, like you know, like because yeah. yeah. you every time he starts it up, you see the suit light up. Yeah. Because it's always like you know turned off. Mm-hmm. True. You know. So um, I like I, how he did the tornado thing. That was oh cool. man, he, that makes he, sense because Barry also when he gets his powers back does turn blue yeah before he puts the suit on yeah when when, when they touch even in the earlier blue. scenes even in the oh, earlier yeah. scenes before he lost his powers he uh, when he when didn't have the outfit he mm-hmm. was blue like when he went to go stop oh I didn't notice that yeah I didn't yeah. notice okay. that either so that I, I yeah, yeah so uh, um, so we get Barry saving babies Ben say uh, trying to stop a the Falcone, the Falcone's yes. uh, uh, son or son like is that? stealing like a biological weapon right uh, mm-hmm. yeah biochemical uh, thing that could cause a virus to infect the whole Gotham. Word. Mm-hmm. Basic Gotham shit. Yeah. But it's a daytime, which is different because Batman is always usually out at night. Yeah. yeah. But it was nice seeing Ben in action, man. I really, I enjoyed the motorcycle. Very uh, smooth, very charming, very... Fly, like... I, yes, when he was flying, when he was... sick. It was very cool. Uh, I believe they had confirmed that this is... Ben's last outing as Batman. It makes sense to, with the ending. And too. apparently Gal too, because spoiler, we do get Gal as Wonder Woman for a little bit. She actually sa- saves, right? She saves. Yeah, she, yeah. she saved Batman. Batman's she sends. Well, she the saves uh, the the Gotham because he's gonna drop the bad guy. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And he lasso. She lassoes. Because Batman together. had him and he was letting go. Yeah. 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 And but she lasso and saved him. It was honestly more of a joking thing. Like Be- yeah. They could have just, just had way. him save, like, catch him, but it was a way to get that whole... It's probably line. a way to goodbye yeah. Gal to, Gadot, to both, yeah, and, and, and then and also yeah, have yeah, yeah. Uh, a little comedy thing with Batman telling the I, truth. I enjoyed it. And then <laughs> here comes Barry trying version. to untie it, yeah, yeah. untie Batman, and then he starts telling the truth. Yeah. You know what makes me a little sad is that they had such, like... They had built this chemistry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, they're, they're cracking jokes on each other. You see a little tension between Diana and Bruce like mm-hmm. you know that they you might have a thing for yeah. each other it's over. and then all that is over gone yeah you know and like unfortunately that, that's just what it is but uh I don't know it just makes me a little sad because I feel like I there, agree. there definitely yeah. was potential yeah like, oh, 100%. You know, yeah especially with like the we the all Justice wanted League. the standalone Batman movie yeah. oh yeah Joe um uh Michelangelo yeah it was supposed to be Deathstroke, and I was actually excited to see his Deathstroke. Oh, that's right. Mangione? Ma- yeah, yeah, you know, the yeah, big, yeah, I big know. dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a magic mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we, we get a, and we also do get, uh, they, sh- Alfred? they you know, we get Alfred, oh, well. uh, Jeremy Irons. Yes, Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons came back as Alfred. 
We don't see Henry Cavill, but they do mention Superman. Like you see, like a silhouette. He's saving CGI, CGI Superman them. flying around, lasers saving a, a volcano, right? Yeah. Something yeah, like that. Something like that. Like they do mention Cyborg, but they don't show Ray Fisher. They don't, mm-hmm. uh, you know, because of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was like I said, it was nice seeing. It was great seeing Bruce in action, uh, Ben in action, and getting Gal another time. Mm-hmm. And then we, that's when we get to the meat of it, right? We get. I, we get Iris and I know we didn't see her in the original Justice League movie but yeah. in the Snyder version she's yeah. in she's she's yeah. yes he's Barry out saves getting her. a job and gotcha. then she gets into a car accident and, 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 yeah I Barry feel like Iris was that's why she was saying oh I feel character. like I've seen mm-hmm. you didn't we see each other she recently oh that's that's yeah. interesting I didn't yeah. know that was what that was so yeah, yeah so that it seems like they shoehorned her in I don't know if we necessarily needed her I don't think no I think I think they just wanted to show that Barry had other friends than just a Justice League you know what I mean or like in his own and like his character and his yeah, other too. self got a date with her and yeah that's yeah. another re- reason too yeah so of he didn't we get we then get everything about Barry's dad right the custom normal Barry's dad the story going, we all going, know. going to the trial because of the murder of his mother. Mm-hmm. We get a lot of Nora Allen, a lot of Nora Allen, and I believe she's Spanish. She, I'm pretty sure oh, she's yeah. Spanish. It's confirmed <laughs> by the director. Oh, it's confirmed. That right. he made her Spanish because he's Argentinian. Okay, uh, she did have like an Argentinian Spaniard accent. Like, she's from so, Spain. Oh, okay. In real life, so that makes sense. Uh, I enjoyed her though. She was fine. Yeah, yeah. you know, like you know. it was more than the what CW has done or even the comics really like yeah. with Nora like makes you actually care about her uh, I, heard my, I heard my mom <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't care my mom my mom care a nice Spanish mother d- was sad that the Spanish mother died <laughs> very oh, biased tell your very son. biased <laughs> let me tell her that tell your mother yeah, that yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard her sniffling. I was like, <laughs> and yeah, then here's Donato, yeah. like, Ugh. Yeah. boring. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I enjoyed it though. I, uh, so we get Barry going back in time, right? Because that's the whole thing. He tells Bruce he he went, which is different from the comic because mm-hmm. once Barry goes back in time, he doesn't remember. Yeah. Right. He just wakes up and he's like, "Oh fuck, I don't have powers." Uh, things are changed and I'm like yo what happened this Barry's like nope I went back in time and I was like oh let me go back let me tell Ben Batfleck he told me not to do it I still do it anyway Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean that's just Barry's uh, dilemma that's always been like if you have that power to save your mother or someone you love would you go back in time I would I if I can go back in time, hell yeah. I would. Fix right? yeah. all those yeah. things that you Absolutely. did wrong. Yeah. Why not? You know? Um, it is weird that um, you see all of the past going by and um, he's able to choose so easily. And the fact that he's, it seems like he's been there before. Yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, what has he done that yeah. he knew that he could reach this point exactly so easily? Uh, that's true. It was a lot different than the Justice League version. Do you remember that when he when went he back w- in time in Justice League? It was nothing like this. Chrono okay, so then he's been back in time. He did. He did. I don't it. remember that. So now I don't think it was in. He was it in the first? It's in the Snyder version. It's in the Snyder, but was it in the other one? No. Okay. okay. That's okay. why you never saw the Snyder one, right? You never saw the. Snyder I saw the Snyder one, oh, but I also <laughs> didn't really care because, <laughs> like, you know, Fair. I've seen it. Seen no, it. Uh, <laughs> the ending half was pretty. I think it was better though. I think the Snyder cut is this cut that should have came out in the beginning. I agree. 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 Um, but what did you guys did you guys like the the like how they portrayed the Speed Force no no, no? no. I honestly think the CW did a better job of portraying the Speed well, Force just than going through a tunnel and you see the uh, kinda yeah <laughs> the the whole merry what's that merry go round no oh. <laughs> the wax museum oh Madame Curie <laughs> whatever that wax museum is yeah. that's what it felt like you're yeah, just yeah. like Surrounded by wax figures. Oh, the oh. CGI was yes, horrible. Yes, yes, not mad. Okay, uh, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's gonna bother me now. <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> but yeah, all Tucson. Yeah, Tucson. Yeah, Tucson. Tucson. Yeah. Tucson. Yeah. Yeah. Tucson. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tucson. that's what it looked like. He was just some like, like they were wax Tucson. characters going around. I see. I see. Um, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. It wasn't the worst portrayal you could have had for yeah. sure. It was okay. Um, that's when we first meet the villain. That actually I was a little scared. I was like, "Who the fuck?" I liked uh, 
the little peak of him, you know, you don't know what's going on. Then mm-hmm. they completely go away from it too, which is also nice. Which was nice. Yeah. 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 It's not like, oh, we're going to beat it to death. Yeah. Yeah. And then like have Barry be paranoid throughout the whole mm-hmm. movie. You know, he's just focused on what's in front of him. Mm-hmm. And at that time, it was a younger version of himself. Yeah. 18. Man. I don't know. How, I don't remember. I don't remember how old the Barry one he's was. He's out of college. He has a job. Well, yeah. The, yeah. He's definitely like 30s. Because in like. the previous one, he had just gotten that job. True. At the end of the movie. Remember oh, when yeah, he was cause, telling cause his dad? Bruce, Bruce, Bruce helped him get it. Yeah. yeah. You're right, so you're right, this, you're right. But then when he went to his job this time, they were like, you've been here for too long, too many years to be still getting me coffee or some shit like yeah. that. So, it's th- so he's definitely got to so be in his... Mid-20s, th- early 30s? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, yeah. especially because Young Barry kept saying like, "Oh, he's like in his forties," which yeah. didn't make sense from the parent standpoint. I feel like they'd be like, "How come you look old?" Yeah. Like, well, the dad was like that. A little Did bit. He? Yeah, because uh, he was the like, fact that he cut his that. hair also. Yeah, and then she's like, like drastic. And she's different. like, "You can see your eyes," and then mm-hmm. the dad's like, "You look old." Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed that. And then she's like, "No, he's perfect." Like you know, as mm-hmm. a mom would. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they recasted the father. Yeah. Who was the old father? I the old father that. was Dr. Mahan in the Watchmen movies. I forgot his Okay. Name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was noticed that he didn't look familiar at all. Because that other guy had, like, was, like, a uh, like thin neck, and, like, he, he looked like Ezra a little bit. Mm-hmm. This one looked nothing like Ezra. No. And he had, like, a mullet, and, like, he was a bit chubbier, and mm-hmm. I was like... It's the guy from Office Space. I don't know his name. That's who he was. Office yes. Space. I That's knew I recognized him. Cult classic movie from, like, the past... Yeah. You haven't seen that? Nope. You gotta see that yeah, movie, man. dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you would appreciate that movie. <laughs> yeah, too. yeah, for oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we so should do uh, that. Or, the um, Flash the, meets the old, the old movie. Young review. Flash. Yes, Young Flash. So a lot of this movie, we get Flash One and Flash Two. We get an old the Flash that we know and a young Barry Allen. What did you guys think of Young Barry? I liked him. Uh, I thought it was yeah. comedic humor. Come- on, 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 on point. On point. Yeah, in yeah, my yeah. Opinion. for sure. Like Ezra the, did a good job playing two different characters. Yeah, and also sure. real like, I feel like it it, it helps the audience because remember when we first saw Flash, Flash was a support character, right, mm-hmm. for the Justice mm-hmm. League, and like at first when I saw Ezra, I was like, I don't know if Ezra could leave like his like their own movie, mm-hmm. right, but. In going into this movie, them having Barry find a younger version of himself and having to teach him, yeah, puts himself into perspective of how he is around people, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and then like, oh, he could realize how annoying he could mm-hmm. really be because I remember they just like Matt, they were annoyed because Barry's always talking. I mean, because of his speed and yeah. everything, he's always in a fast state of being. You For know, sure. so. Uh, I really enjoyed seeing this young Barry and then our Barry realizing like his faults and like yeah. mm-hmm. and we never got a an origin movie yeah was good so, so this was like a pseudo origin it was a pseudo origin you see how he turns yes you see how he can do his things because he's essentially teaching his old self the origin story mm-hmm. at, at a faster pace at a too. very fast yeah. pace yeah. because he already knows it yeah I think that's a good uh, trait other movies should take in the future I don't need another Spider-Man origin. Oh, I don't no. need another Batman origin. No, no, no. I Agreed. got it. Please, no. Yeah. <laughs> was, so it was nice. Even though we never had a movie with Flash origin, it's nice that we didn't necessarily need one. You don't have to waste an entire movie explaining how he got where he got. We yeah. can just make a movie. They, they made the movie, like, parallel. It, was, it, it, was, it really was nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I noticed, um, I know people uh, have said it before. Do you guys feel like Barry is Barry like Barry from the comics I feel like this version of Barry is very like Barry and Wally put together yes, like he's very I joke, agree. joke more Wally than Barry right yeah so um well also uh, most of the people in their 40s grew up with Wally they didn't grow up with Barry true mm. yeah so, that, that is true I, yeah. I, 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 I didn't grow up with, with no with, exactly we all grew up with Wally yeah, yeah, because Barry true. was gone in the other timeline it's so true. it Pretty does make sense that a lot of Wally's characteristics would mesh into our a, generation and the generation before us. Flash. That's a good one, bro. Yeah. Brian Quinn. 
Yeah, he, hey. He's the one that talked about it. No, Wally West is his Flash. He doesn't really care for Barry. It's not his Flash. No, I feel that. I feel that. So it's nice that they combine pretty much the all the Flashes together. Yeah. The real Flashes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. To no. make a cohesive character. It's true. And then makes it relatable. Like, you, you get the old heads that know Barry Allen, and mm -hmm. then you get the new kids that are like, kind of feels like Wally mm -hmm. but you know I, I dig it mm -hmm. I dig it and I'm sure hopefully we'll, we will get a Wally because I do like Wally West um, yeah we'll see well actually there's two Wally Wests in the in the, the comics. comics there's a there's the redhead ginger and then the black Wally West okay. there's a new oh. Kid Flash yeah Kid Flash mm -hmm. um, so the day Barry travels back to is actually the day Barry turns into the Flash yes 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 so he yeah convinces uh, Old, his younger self yeah, young Barry <laughs> to get his powers even though he had a date with Iris West yeah but uh, that scene was funny especially when he phased through mm -hmm. it was nice that they just showed us how he phases through without having to do a long explanation to yes. they just showed the molecules moving around the other molecules yeah yeah from the wall in order to pass through no that was cool and then like He's almost a fully developed Flash, where he's learned to phase, yeah. he's learned to travel back in time, he knows how to stop time, essentially, and... Yeah. It's, and a few other things, like... Oh, when he did that... <laughs> the chest yeah, phase thing. Yeah, yeah, man, I was like, ooh. What if man. he could do that to a Kryptonian? Can he kill Superman, then? Yeah. Oh, he can? I would, see, I would see why not. As long as Superman doesn't know it's coming. Exactly, oh, yeah. exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, we, you know, just to speed it up a bit, uh, young Barry gets his powers back, but in the, at the same time, our Barry loses his powers. Yes. Because he gets struck by lightning again, and... It strikes through old Barry, and then goes into the young Barry. Yep. Essentially giving young Barry his powers. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense to me, because... Shouldn't old Barry have, have, like, be fucked up? Yeah, right? shouldn't he yes. have died from having a lightning bolt through his <laughs> yeah. chest because he lost his powers? Yeah, we thought yeah, about that. Yeah, we too. were like, what the hell? <laughs> That's why, okay, later on, well, la or later on, we could talk about it. Yeah, now, you could talk in any order. But uh, later on, when we see Barry get his powers back. Yeah, young, uh, new old Barry getting old, his powers back. Yeah, because uh, they go, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll That's get to a it. whole other thing because Supergirl or whatever how did she even know to bring him up into the lightning she literally just got there she, well, she doesn't can, know she who these people oh yeah she can hear she can hear but she doesn't know who these people are how the flash even gets his powers true, like true. what the fuck well she definitely was using her super hearing mask <laughs> it is surprising how fast she was able to fix how strong her hearing was too which was a little wrong i, I feel like they shouldn't have even added that agreed but hearing. they did that mm -hmm. In the original with with Zod, of course, because when when, when but also when, when she's been here for a while. She's heard other things. This is true. Well, she, but she was also in Red Sun. Yeah, but like, how did they get her there? I don't know. With a lot of bullets that are going to make way louder sounds than a voice a, a mile away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that's really the only negative about her character is she did. I know people were saying that she did get her powers like control of her powers rather quickly, but Zod. And Man of Steel, he, also he got his powers quickly. Yeah. But he's also trained exactly as like a, a sold, spec ops yeah, 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 like guy yeah. from from Krypton. So. Yeah. So, uh, part of me thinks Barry always had the Speed Force in him. He just needed to get struck by lightning again, and then and then the to. other other Barry needed to touch him. Yeah. yeah. To like give him a, give it back. Yeah. Not get struck again. Yeah. <laughs> like the chemicals had nothing to do with it, really. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, it, it was, like, dormant in him, and then, like, they had to just reignite it. Mm -hmm. But my man got shot twice, bro. <laughs> so, uh, just to go back, so after Barry gets his powers, uh, young Barry gets his powers, um, we then get news, right, that Zod is here for Superman. So, because of this change, right, because... In the original, that whole event was that happened already. It happened around the same time, uh, a little, oh, no. little later than it happens in this one because yeah. Barry just got his powers, but he was made a suit. Yes, yes, yes. So it's probably like he went a week to go or save two. someone, but he only saved a kid. Yeah. yeah, he didn't know how to control his powers. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. It was his first was failure cool. as a superhero, which thought, is nice to show. I too. thought that was pretty cool because yeah. I remember 
Man of Steel, obviously the whole the whole metropolis is getting destroyed. Mm-hmm. But then in um, Batman vs Superman, they start off the movie with Ben there, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And he's in the rubble and he's going to save people. And so then, that's a huge question: like, where the hell were all these other superheroes when Zod? And, that, and now we know yeah. Barry was there, but he was only able to save one kid. Yeah, because he was still new; he didn't know what he was doing. Fun theory, I heard that people are saying that because we. We never find out who actually killed his mom. Yeah. We're, they're saying that it's just a regular burglar, but I don't think that's the case. I think they're probably saving that for the fu- for the mm-hmm. next movie. Yeah, I thought there's not going to be a next movie. Well, it doesn't have to be with them. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It could be anything. It yeah. Could be, at this point, with, 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 with how it ended? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, but, but the whole thing is, it's reverse flash. No? Isn't that the whole story behind it? Agreed, yes. The, the, real, the original, yeah. original story. But what they're saying that what if the kid that Barry saved Ooh. becomes a reverse flash because what? Barry wasn't able to save him, save his dad. Yeah. Right. So it's like the same type of like that, I like that. You know what I, I mean? Like so they're saying that what if that kid in the future is the one mm-hmm. that because he's young. Yeah. He could still grow up to study the Flash and yeah. become reverse oh, flash. The reverse flash is from the future. Yeah. Ebor Thon is from the future. Mm-hmm. We don't know what this kid's name is. Exactly. Yeah, interesting. So I like, like that. I like that a lot. I think that would definitely bring it all full circle and like really like tie it nice. But you know who knows? Uh, there's there's just rumors. Um, so Zod comes. Zod comes. Um, Wants Superman. Barry says we need to find the Justice find League. Su- we have to find the Justice mm-hmm. League. Right? He's like, we need to find the Justice League to find Superman. Oh, this didn't make sense Batman. to me. What? So they call. No Wonder Woman, right? No Wonder Woman. No Cyborg. No Cyborg's still in college. Still in college. Still a football player, not hurt yet. Correct. Because that happens because of... Because he gets the... The mother box. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, Aquaman is... Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. So, so... That is the end, yeah. This doesn't make sense because at the... In the end credit, I know we... I know I told you guys. Yeah. The end credit scene, we see... He's always there. He says that Aquaman is a constant. He's yeah. not a constant. But he's not a constant if he's not alive. Yeah. That's why it made me think huh. when his when Thomas Curry got off the phone all abruptly and upset mm-hmm. that it was true. And Aquaman might have been in Atlantis. Yeah. Maybe Because he, he got offended, believe, bro. Instead maybe of, he's saying I don't have a son. Like he is like, not my son anymore. Well, who yeah. was that other woman? Like, well, I mean, he could get married again. He, yeah, you know, yeah. he slept uh, with a mermaid. But, he but, but the way, the way, that he, the way that he abruptly got off the phone though mm-hmm. made me think that he got offended by when Barry's like, "Oh, did you get with the mermaid?" And he's like, "Like, kind of, you think I'm crazy, motherfucker?" Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, okay. like, are so, you making fun of me? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that, so that made me think that maybe Jason uh, Aquaman was alive, but in Atlantis. That would make sense. Because yeah. that's the only way that they would make it constant. Because honestly, if that was the case, then his statement at the end of the movie. It's false. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's just, I mean, there are a lot of potholes because hmm. this is supposed to be the movie that connects everything, but now it's going to like end all the old stuff into the new stuff, into yeah. the new James Gunn, Peter Safran, uh, DC creative that over at Warner Brothers, which I'm very excited about. Um, but... So they call everybody. They no call one's everyone. There. And then they, so he's like, "There's no Batman." And then these stoners are like, "I'm oh, Batman. There yeah. is a Batman." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, "What the fuck?" So both Barrys, Barry Square, go to find Batman, and who do they find? Michael Keaton. Michael fucking Keaton. Yo, who they should have kept a secret. Oh, agreed. Agreed. Oh, that was a big mistake. I thought. Agreed. Big time. Big time. I wish I didn't know that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kevin didn't know that because he didn't watch any of the trailers. So oh, lucky him. He was very, he was, yeah, he was hyped. Very cool. That's yeah. great. Uh, Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne, the one from 1989 with the outfit and everything, the Batmobile. Like, Batmobile you know, looked nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I wish they used it. I, yeah. I did too. I did like the air, the the bat the bat wing though. The bat wing, yeah, that was pretty cool. cool. That thing was cool. But but seeing the but Batmobile, the old school Batmobile. Yeah. yeah. That would have been that would have been sick. Um, but Michael Keaton, honestly, he did steal the show. Yeah. He like he was on it at first. He wasn't on board, but then 
they explain everything to him. He explains the multiverse and with spaghetti, you know, shit. What full? Essentially, chrome. Barry thought that if you change it, it would just split it instead of creating an entire new timeline. Like like a he branch. He thought like yeah. yeah, it would branch off instead of making two completely different ones. Yeah, which is what it ended up doing. He's um, a dummy. For someone so smart, he's a dummy. So then they try to find Superman. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, Superman. He said that he studied all that stuff. How would he have not known that? Yeah, that's true. Right? Barry's supposed to be really fucking smart. Yeah. Also, he's (laughs) Uh, time traveled before. Yeah. Shouldn't it have already split? Agreed. Yeah, that's a true. I didn't even think of that until the second. Jesus. Crikey. Yeah, because what? This last time that he messed up the time, he literally just like hugged his mom, and that fucked up. The whole Batman thing at the end. No, I don't. That, you don't that, think that's why? No, it was because he t- he moved the cans to he the top. Moved the can. he, he moved did. the cans to the top. Yeah, he didn't move the can to the top. Yes, that's how did. his dad sees the thing. He didn't move it. It was already there. Yes, because but then remember at the end of that scene you see him look up at the camera. Right. And then he that's when he realized. And then he, we don't see it. On screen, but he moved it. Yeah, oh, that's, that's why he had what the, they were saying. That's what the interview was, and, and that's why when I he got thought interviewed, that whole thing was supposed to signify a butterfly effect. Like, oh, I'm fucking caught on camera. No, no. I'm a fuck everything. I thought up that too. Yeah, I thought no. that too. No. I thought that too. But that is not the case. It the case is the wow. fact that he realized I can help my dad get out of it by just moving the can. Yeah, that's why when he got to the got interviewed, he also moved he it just back after. Blurted that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we'll get to the, to the that last one. That makes so much more there. sense to me now. Yeah, yeah. So Barry's been trying to save his dad, and there's a evidence that his father was at the supermarket when his mom died. The Batfleck. Batfleck have, decrypted it. Yep, yep. And it shows him, but he's not looking up. And you don't see his face, so you yeah, can't. Yeah, you don't see his face, so they can't use it as evidence. Yep. And this causes Barry to want to go back in time. Yeah, and th- that actually, that, that's true. That's true. So at the end, he's able to figure it out. Because he just wants to save both of his parents, you yeah. know, like, uh, mm-hmm. as any as any kid would. Yeah. Um, so, Michael Keaton has the Batwing. He's like, I'm going to help you guys, you, you know, because he sympathized with Barry, and, he, and Barry told him why he went back in time. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the same time, when he told him that, that's when young Barry heard. Yeah, overhears. Overhearing. That he did this to save his mother. Yeah, because this Barry, right, has lived with his mom. He He's very carefree. He, he's very, not, he, he doesn't, doesn't have trauma. Pain. No yeah. trauma whatsoever. Yeah, he's lived a nice life. His parents have always been there. He's never had to worry about one of them being dead. He'd never had to worry about yep. fearing for his life. He didn't even know that his life changed. Yeah, no, that's true. He goes home to get his laundry done because he doesn't even do it himself. His mom made his uh, apartment look nicer because he's a bum. Yep, yep. He lives with two, three roommates and they They're are all, all bums. stoners. They're all stoners. Big time stoners. Yeah. That's why he couldn't And then he was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I love that laugh. <laughs> I did too. Yeah. Yo, no, yo, young Barry had some funny ass scenes. Like yeah. his face, he was his clowning. facial, like, ah! like, I was like, bro, mm. like, <laughs> when, when old Barry was about to punch him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, why, why, why is that up? <laughs> How hard do you have to punch him in order to uh, <laughs> knock him out and make him not remember? <laughs> Bro, what oh, line. my goodness, that was so funny. But, so, Keaton, sympath- like, you know, he joins them. He, he shaves because he was all fucking hairy and shit. Uh, they go to Siberia. That's where they're holding. What they so, think is Clark Kent. Correct, which is kind of like... Superman Red Sun yes. because that's when Superman falls in Russia Soviet mm-hmm. Union mm-hmm. and the Russians uh, take him and he's raised by them yeah. and becomes like the whole communist leader it's a good story it is a great story um, but uh, so they get there it's great that they had Keaton solve that whole mystery too because Barry couldn't figure oh, it Barry out Barry couldn't figure and it out he just yeah. wakes up and, and Keaton, Keaton already, already figured already it out already figured it out yep. yeah, just like was, Batman he baby he said there was like a thousand something Clark Kent's so they need Batman to figure it out and he did uh, he came in he came clutch he then also came clutch by getting them there with, yeah with, that with, point. With, with the Batwing otherwise, cause otherwise Barry would have had to run with the other Barry that would have been very bad 
Yeah. The discharge is <laughs> oh, That alone. shit was hilarious. That shit was so funny. When he moved him, he's like, what did you do? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I literally laughed out loud. Puking, but, but, but like, oh. Yeah. One of my favorite, like, stills in the movie was when you see Keaton coming down from the from the bat plane mm-hmm. and you see the bat plane against the moon yeah. in the back and you see him just flying down I was like yo that's straight from the cartoons like the mm-hmm. animated series absolutely love that that shit uh, it was cool like even though he was a reti- retired Batman he just once he got in it, he was he was, he in, was it. in it. Yeah. yeah, you know. You could yeah. see he liked it too. Once he did. He, was he like, missed he was it. Well, he tells him at the up. end too. Yeah, he's like, yeah. "Thanks for, for bringing me back. Bringing you already back. brought me back." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was actually cute. That was, that was good. cute. They got me. They got me. So uh, they break into the Siberian fortress, and then we get a badass Batman fighting scene. Man, yeah, that was so cool. He beat a whole bunch of soldiers, throwing batarangs, yeah. kicks, everything. Like it was. It was so cool. Man, it was nice seeing Keaton again. It was. Yeah. And, and then they get to the holding. They're holding the scrotum. Yes. They're holding the Kryptonian in the scrotum. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they find out that, bum, 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 it's not Clark Kent or Kal-El. It is Kara. Kara. Kara Zor-El. Clark Kent's cousin. Older cousin. Supergirl. Um, they rescue her. Right? And then we go, oh, the scene with the scientist, right? The scientist out in the oh, hallway. Yes, yes. And then Batman's trying to, like, flinch at him. Flinch at to him to get him to run. <laughs> and the guy <laughs> comes out to take a gun. And young Barry just pushed him out the way, but then he got shot. Got yep. shot in the knee. Got shot in the knee, started crying like crying. a bitch. Crying. He didn't yeah. think he could get hurt. Yep. <laughs> that, that was funny. He's like, was funny. why did you think? Why did you think otherwise? Like, the fuck? We're not Superman. I never said mm-hmm. we were vulnerable. We're just fast. Yeah. Um, so, old Barry's carrying them. They're trying to escape. They escape. Oh, that must have hurt him so bad because it's slow motion to him. Oh yeah. For that bullet. Yeah. Oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why he was like, "What the <laughs> hell is <laughs> that?" See and it's just about slowly. Yeah, and he's like, "Ah!" <laughs> oh, dude. I flinched when I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I was like, "Oh, bro." So um, they get outside and they they're surrounded. Surrounded. They're screwed. Except. Uh, Kara's now gotten the sun on her skin, yes, so she now has is gaining her powers back. Yep, and then she just goes ape shit on all these Siberian motherfuckers, just knocking them into into the stratosphere, kicking them off the cliff. Like, I I did like the scene where, uh, you see Batman fighting, and then like, he he was about to get shot in the face, oh, mm-hmm. and you see yeah you yeah. see Kara come yeah. in, blocks it, and uh, that was cool. Yeah. Um, Kara is immediately on their side because old Barry, when they found out it wasn't Clark, they still saved her because she needed saving, and that's yeah. all that mattered to him. Yeah. Still but being I, a hero when he's not a super. Yeah, it goes to show you that Barry has that hero inside of him mm-hmm. without his powers. You yes. know, like yeah. it's already in him. Um, it's been in him. She did leave, though, for a bit, and when she left, that's when uh, you see... Zod talking to the humans as she witnessed Zod killing all, all the humans, right? Yeah. And then they also saw her. Yeah. Yeah. Because she yelled and... So that was a little kind of confusing I'll, to me how I'll, they didn't follow her back to the Batcave from that agreed. point on. Yeah. That did, to me, that didn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. But, uh... Because what would have made sense is home. that if they caught her and then Barry and them would come save, you know what I mean? But that, that did not happen. Mm-hmm. Um, instead, Barry's like, I gotta get my powers back. And they zap him. Zapped him twice. Uh, zap him, it didn't work. And then here comes Supergirl again. Takes him up into the sky. Just knows what to do. Yep, because yep. she heard it with her super hearing mask. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. Because if Zod can hear her yell no <laughs> yeah. from that far away. But he can't follow her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, yo, I'm not the director, bro. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just telling him what I saw. And uh, so yeah, she takes him, and then he got struck by lightning, which yeah wasn't my favorite thing. No, because no, so then new Barry touches old Barry, yep. sparking his powers. His powers back in. Yeah, because he didn't. He didn't. He wasn't healing. No, nah. he was essentially dead. He was dead. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, like like we were saying earlier, I think we think that 
he had the power in him already. It just got it to be reignited. Yeah. And uh, that's what Young Barry did. And then we see Young Barry make his own Flash costume. Yes, out of what did you guys? What did you guys Batman think of the Flash suit. costume? <laughs> I liked it. I liked it too. <laughs> I thought it was. I like. I thought it was so funny. It's funny. Uh, it he did the color scheme. Yeah. Put the you know, mm-hmm. the, and he's cutting the the ears off and everything. Yeah. Uh, it made sense. What else is he gonna wear? Yeah. yeah now that and, the but first Barry's back. It was good for the friction, right? Because that's what Barry's gonna use mm-hmm. when he was going up there to get shot. Mm-hmm. Right, so uh, then we get the crew. Ba- Batman's like, "I'm gonna join you. Let's go do this mm-hmm. for the Justice League." They go, and then probably my funny, my one of my favorite scenes was when they were getting ready, when the berries are getting ready to go. They had their suits on, mm-hmm. and <laughs> Young Barry turns and his mask is all. Fun. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> Because he's trying to look at Barry, yo. But the mask I, doesn't move with him. It yeah, stays yeah. straight. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. so funny. That was a great moment. Uh, when I saw that yesterday, I laughed so hard. And then Kevin started laughing so hard. And I just could not stop laughing. It was, I was just great. like, It was great. That shit, that shit was so funny, yo. <laughs> young, yo, young Barry, yo. Young Barry. Young Barry. Oh, man. So, cars fighting Zod. Yeah, uh, final battle. Final battle. Cars fighting Zod. He tells her about what what happened to Cal to Clark. They intercepted his pod and he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's yeah dead. he, was a, he, he was wasn't the one baby. they needed in this yeah. universe. Yeah, he wasn't. What the one that they need was actually Kara. Kara. So uh, she goes ape shit, which mm-hmm. I really really liked yeah. because good fight that's, scene. That's one of. I, t- I think it was actually better than the Man of Steel one with between Zod and and and. and she Clark. lost more though. She so did. it made she, more sense for her to be she did. angry in that moment. That's true. But Kara has always been the more brutal out of the Clark two. Clark was always holding back. It makes back. sense, though, yeah. Exactly. Clark also but, has like, more care because he, he kills and, and with he's more humans. Human. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. more human than yeah. her. She's yeah. still yeah. not human. No, she's not. She's full She was like, already an, uh, essentially an adult before she came yeah. to Earth. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so I really liked uh, that portrayal of Supergirl. I, I hope we get her back because I think... It was done well. It was done very well. Very, she, she was small, mm-hmm. like she didn't have that much screen time. But I thought she owned, like she owned it. Mm-hmm. Like she was awesome, Supergirl. For sure. Um, she's get, fighting them. She's fighting them. Batman fighting the air fleet. Air fleet, yes. Yeah, so Batman's in the plane, you know, doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Barrys are fighting all the Kryptonians, mm-hmm. and at first, uh, I it, to me it didn't make. Se- I guess it makes a little sense. Young Barry with lightning. No fuck. Uh, <laughs> Old Barry t- saying like I'm gonna disarm everyone. You punch him. Right. But that is the you would think it'd be the other way around because he's the more seasoned fighter. I was thinking that too. But when you tell someone to just punch someone, you know they, they don't have to think about it. Yeah. Well, so disarming. He's actually being very like critical. We also sh- were shown that young Barry couldn't even deal with somebody that was armed as he gets sliced in the face. Yeah. Giving a brutal, brutal mark on scar. His face. Yeah. Well, he wasn't expecting them to be that fast. That's Which, why. Yeah. Barry should have told him. But also, yeah, Barry should have told him. He's really he's like, he's like uh, these Kryptonians are a little faster than regular humans. Yeah. Like, they can see you, so yeah. be careful. Yeah. You know, I mean, should have known though. He met Kara. She's a Kryptonian. This is true. <laughs> but young Barry is a dummy. Yeah, young Barry is a dummy. <laughs> uh, my hopeless little dummy. It's okay. So Zod kills Kara. Yes. Takes the we thought, I thought she was going to win. Energy out I thought of her. She was yeah. Win. She had him. She, she had, had him. She had him, yeah. She should have just... Too much confidence, yeah. And just put it through him, mm-hmm. you know, and then, like, and then worry about turning off the thing. But, mm-hmm. nope. He just stabs her, takes the thing. That's something I didn't get, though. Was that in the Man of Steel? Yeah. Did he... He had a sword thing that he could slice Clark yeah. with? Yeah. I don't remember. The, it was so, so long you, ago. He didn't use it? The the woman the the woman his woman general did, she was just slicing through, through a whole bunch of American soldiers. Yeah, but that's different than slicing through, Kryptonian. Yeah, but it's Kryptonian, it's Kryptonian weapons. Yeah. I guess I thought the only thing that could really cut him was like. The which I'm gonna call it the, the fucking stone. Uh, the kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah. Well, I think that's, that's any. That's the only. Like element. Like element. A, like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to say it's because it's, I believe, well, kryptonite is Kryptonian, like, it's 
part of the Kryptonian rubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's part so, of their core. So, so I this guess armor is made out of. Be made yeah, out yeah, it could be made out of. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Other I elements. Yeah, it's, that that's important. the only thing that landed on Earth from their planet. Yeah, yeah. Essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that that makes sense. Okay, so. I thought that was kind of a plot hole before, but. It's not the best, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, plus it's also Zod. Yeah, he's Superman powered, and this girl had her back. He was also prepared to fight a, a Kryptonian. Yeah, so yeah. it's not like he wasn't prepared. Yeah, to this is true. This is true. Um, um, Batman sacrifices himself because he can't he escape can. his ship. Yep, goes right into the mothership. Does and nothing. Does nothing to the mothership. We did get a lot of cool flash. Both Barrys doing their flash thing. Mm-hmm. In super speed against the Kryptonians, though. Mm-hmm. His young Barry started getting that confidence. Mm-hmm. You know? Once they got their groove. They got their yeah. groove. He was nut punching people. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I heard you guys laugh. Yeah, that shit yeah. was hilarious. That was funny. Uh, so it was cool seeing them do some combo attacks. Um, really enjoyed that. Then they did like the whole lightning thing. Yeah, so Barry. Young Barry's suit doesn't. Uh, dissipate? Dissipate the, the energy. The energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he has to shoot it out. And so he just starts emperor. Yeah, this <laughs> force a lot of lightning. References, pop culture references. There was he back made, to the future. Back. Barbie for some reason. Let's, Let's go Barbie. <laughs> Let's go party. I <laughs> like that scene. How he said like as a question. Yeah. Like is that what you mean? And then when he put on the ring. What did he say when he put on the ring? He started saying what's what's on the ring in in uh, in Elvish. Oh really? From Lord of the Rings. That's funny. Like, Oh, like, oh, that's funny. Yeah, when I was like, oh, Lord of the Rings, I see you, I see you. Yo, oh, man, I, I really did enjoy the movie a lot. Um, So, Batman dead, Supergirl dead, both berries are like, uh, young berries like, we gotta go back in time, we gotta save them. And old berries like, uh... First time he's think, okay with it. Yeah, uh, yeah he's like, I don't think you can, you can go times. fast enough. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's what he says. Yeah, he's he's like, I don't, I don't think you're fast can... enough, yeah. but then young berry proved them wrong. Yup. Fucking sped and they, they went together into the speed force and then you can see young Barry was serious he was yeah. like I know what I'm gonna change do you let's mm-hmm. do it mm-hmm. they do these changes Batman didn't Batman survived so then you see Batman fighting the the giant Kryptonian mm-hmm. which was oh that sick. was cool that was a great fight popping fight. around yeah. on him putting explosives that yeah was that cool. was sick bro but then that slam, that was that was it for, for Michael Keaton. Yeah. He, was, yeah. he was already fucked up as is. He's old. He was fighting yeah. for a long time. He's not in the prime anymore. And then, yeah, he just gets slammed. and gets slammed. And that's then it. He's dying. Dead. Dying. Well, yeah. Dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Barry realizes in that moment, also Kara dies essentially the same way. No matter that what she they died last do. time. Yeah, with, with young Barry helping her this time. But that didn't, that didn't do anything. Yeah. She, she still dies. Michael Keaton's dying, and then that's when Old Barry realizes this is a constant. This is a constant. Like they, they're going to die. It doesn't matter how many times they change it, they're going to die. That's just what has to happen. Um, and it was nice because like Barry's like, uh, what, what do you say? He's like, I'm sorry, I couldn't save you. Yeah. I couldn't bring you back. Yep, and then and that's what Michael, Michael Keaton like, says. You already did. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was so good, man. Yeah. Oh, I was like, damn. At first, at first when I first saw it, I thought Michael Keaton already knew that they tried to bring him back somehow. Yeah, but no, but no, no. Meant, but it's the fact like he brought him back to yeah, because he who stopped he was. being Batman. Essentially, we think because Alfred died. Alfred died, and well, and, and Gotham no said it was peace. It was peace oh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. He said there was no more crime yeah. in Gotham. So he brought him back. He was able to do what he loved. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, protect people. Yeah. And like he was smiling, like I'm mm-hmm. Batman, like oh, man. Mm-hmm. Michael Keaton, yo. Oh, and he did the I'm Batman. He did the I'm Batman, yeah. yeah like I was like, damn, I was I was hyped so again, Barry. ruined by the trailer. <laughs> oh, yeah. so young Barry runs trailer back trailer. into time again. Yes, and then he doesn't doesn't want understand doesn't yet. It, yeah. yeah, and it goes to show you the difference between the two Barrys. The maturity. The maturity. The fact that our Barry, the Barry one has been through trauma because mm-hmm. of what happened to his mom what happened to, uh, with everything yeah this young Barry hasn't and so he can't take no for an answer everything's he, perfect in uh, his life yeah why, everything could be fixed why can't yeah. It? yeah and so you see him doing that and every time he's doing it he's you see him getting these More pieces of metal yeah <laughs> in him and he's getting messed up because like he'll kill a Kryptonian and a shard 
of their armor will go into him. And that was badass, though, when he killed oh. that girl with, with the... Yo, yeah. And then he <laughs> yeah. vibrated? Yeah. I was like, how's that able to beat Zod? Yeah. With, right? Why didn't he just do that? That's well, something I you saw. Get. If you look at when one of the um, like when Barry's in the middle, he mm-hmm. catches him. He catches him, yeah. and you see him vibrate out. So, why, in my head, I was like, "Why don't you just vibrate your hand with the blade through him?" Right. And he's when, not prepared. This is a first battle, really. True, true. But I did like when you saw when he started using that blade, his color started changing a bit. I don't yeah, know if you saw. Yeah, there was a when you when you watch it again, yeah. watch that scene when he kills the girl. Mm-hmm. You see Starts him slice, purple? and it, it's not blue, it's purple. Oh. Oh. And then, so earlier, when I first saw the movie, in the beginning, I was already like, that's fucking Barry. Like, that's young Barry, that's the, that's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. I just had a feeling that's... I mean, they made I, him look like Savitar from WB. So, that's a good point, man, yeah. because Savitar... If you watch that, you know that Savitar is, is Barry. Barry from the future, mm-hmm. you know? So, uh, I like this... this so I'll, it was ru- real quick. It was ruined for me, a hot topic because I saw the Funko Pops, what? and they said they showed you who's in the movie with oh, the Funko Pops. Yeah. Toys always ruin oh my movies. God. Always, <laughs> really. <laughs> Never look at toys, <laughs> bro. When you see a, a major movies coming out like uh, Endgame, yeah, you saw Hulk with the fucked up arm, Tony with the what? yeah, really? all that was yeah. Wow. They, Cap sh- the Cap they didn't allow out. that to even be released until well, after. Is, but yeah, yeah well, because all the major sales are gonna happen right after, so exactly. it has to be made. Mm. So they have to ahead tell ahead people, yeah. yeah. People know. So, so many people know don't beforehand. Funko Pops toys. Yeah, stay away from them. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, bro. What it said, Barry. <laughs> so it said Reverse Flash. Okay. So that's yeah. what I was confused, right? Yeah, yeah. And it also showed Diana and it showed George Clooney. Really? Yeah, I was a little. I was, but I was yeah, sad. they're not gonna say Eobard Dawn. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so this is not really reverse flash. It it's is not. more of a Savitar. It is. Yeah. So that's why I believe we will get a reverse flash if we do get another Flash movie later Who knows? on. No, this guy might have just yeah, I think messed up a yeah. reverse yeah. flash. Yeah. He reverse flashed himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what Barry really did. Uh, but um, so they run into the past. I mean, they run into the time chronosphere thing. Yep. Uh, Future Bear, you find out this monster we've seen is actually young Barry. Yeah. But he's been doing it this for loop for ever. who knows how long. Yeah, he's he an old, old man. Yeah, he, he looked like old as fuck. Like he had white yeah. hair. He was fucked up. He was doing yeah. everything. Else. Like, <laughs> uh, so Barry's trying to fight him. Man, Savitar, we're going to call him Savitar. Yeah. That's exactly what he is. Yeah. Savitar was like, I realize what my what I need to do mm-hmm. and I need to kill you I need mm-hmm. to kill yeah. the real Barry Allen mm-hmm. the one that we know you came and did this to me yes. I was living a normal nice life and then you made me believe I was a hero yep and destroyed this whole world I had created yeah so but wouldn't that mean he wouldn't exist then no because he's in a different universe it's not past him it's a different him mm, okay yeah. yeah so if he got rid of that Barry then he would have been fine because then yeah. Barry would have not have gone back to uh, kill his mom. I don't know. It was. It was How time, would that time solve? Time loops. <laughs> it's just sloppy. Right? It's <laughs> time writing. It's it's time, bro. That shit. That shit's always sloppy. So what happens? He goes. Savitar goes to attack Barry. Young Barry gets pushes Barry out the way. He gets hit himself. He dies, causing future him Savitar to die as well. Yes. To no longer exist. Yes. Uh, Barry goes back in time to the time uh, to when he changed it yeah to when he changed it and he says one final goodbye got a hug from his mom one final goodbye takes away the can puts it back on the shelf to fix everything but then he realizes yeah the camera the camera to yeah. change the where look. the can was yes. placed so at first we don't we don't get that right we see Barry goes back He's uh, Iris left a note with the beer. He's supposed to be at court for his dad's trial. He gets there. I always love when he's running and he takes someone's food. Yes. I, I, I love that gag. That shit is so funny. Um, he gets there and then we look at the, the footage because we saw the footage originally. His dad didn't look up. But this time, his dad looked up. Yep. Uh, he gets, Barry gets bombarded with reporters and he he's just, shown innocent now too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And 
he tells reporters like, oh, you know, the cans were went from the bottom shelf to the top shelf, and yeah. you know, so you're like, why would he say that? And then mm-hmm. all about spaghetti, talking about the multiverse, right? And then he talks to Irish. He, they go on it. They get a date together. Well, they will have a date together, and then he gets a call from Bruce Wayne, and he's happy, right? Because he's like, oh, I sound. You know, he's like, yeah, Bruce, come, like, my dad's free, I put everything back, everything's mm-hmm. okay. Didn't you know, recognize I, his voice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. His uh, yeah. voice was Clearly different. not Ben Affleck. No. Yeah. Uh, and then... Maybe he's toned up. Uh, he probably is with all that runner, <laughs> maybe. Uh, we get Bruce Wayne coming out of the car, and who do we get? George motherfucking Clooney. Looking suave. Looking look great. suave. I think an old George Clooney could be a good Batman. I think so, too. He's like 65 yeah. or something like that. He looks fantastic. He looks great. Yeah, yeah. Yo, George Clooney, so so y'all don't, I don't know if all y'all know, because there's a bunch of youngsters. George Clooney was the Batman for Batman and Robin. Chris O'Donnell, we also had Arnold Schwarzenegger as a, as a Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, was he in Batman Forever, too, or something? No, no, Batman Forever is Val Kilmer. Oh, yeah. shit, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, then Barry's like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, are you Batman? He's like, really, Barry? He's like, hey, what's wrong with what's you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, and and I thought, I, I, was ha- I, I, I was just like, yo, what the fuck? It's not fixed. It's a nice ending. It was a nice ending, it, and it wasn't fixed, and then at the end we get Jason Momoa. So, the scene with Jason Momoa wasn't much, just that he's the constant, like we, like we talked about. Yeah. Um, the true scene, because the director came out saying, for that part, mm-hmm. was supposed to be, they get a call from Batfleck in another universe, which, yeah. you know, with everything, because apparently this, this movie was cut up a lot. It's a multi-universal phone. Yeah. <laughs> Batman definitely Makes got that sense. in his back pocket. <laughs> Always. Um, because, and apparently another ending was supposed to be Michael Keaton coming out of the car. Okay. And he was going to be the Batman going forward. Okay. As well as Sasha being, and Sasha being there too as a Superman instead okay. of Henry Cavill. But they, oh, they, scrapped when, all they scrapped it once James Gunn, Peter Safran, they became the heads of DC's creative. Mm-hmm. So they're like, nope, we're not doing that. Yeah. Uh, which... It's fine. Michael Keaton's too old. It is what it is. It, it is I mean, you know, it was a taped together it was. universe already. It so. was. It was. It was falling apart. Yeah. They got it out. You know, everyone's praising the director. He's actually going to be the director for the Batman Brave and Bold movie. So the Batman is and Robin movie. Action? The live action one in the future. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. I mean, there, there are things that he did, though, that I feel like. Martha he got Spanish, too, man. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> that makes my mom. <laughs> that makes my mom very happy. <laughs> uh, so. Man, uh, but we'll see though, because like there were three directors directors to this movie. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was the one that, that was able to sense. to get it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, and it wasn't to me. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't like, terrible. It, it was an enjoyable comic book movie. It was a good Flash movie. It wasn't great. People were saying that it was good, the next, great. the I next, agree. they said that this was as good as The Dark Knight. And no. I was like, yeah, I'll trip it. Not even close. Like, The Batman no. comes close to, like, The Dark Knight if, in comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In comparison. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, no. <laughs> no. They, you know, they tried. Uh, they got it out. Thank goodness. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think we should, we are coming on to an yeah. hour. You want to read so, it? Yeah, let's read it. I would give it a seven. Seven, okay. I thought it had a lot of good actions. If the story was better, it would have been higher. Uh, I think you're spot on. I'm I'm leaning towards six point five seven as well. Yeah. Uh, I agree. If Michael Keaton wasn't in it, I'd probably give it like a five. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, yeah. yeah. The CGI was was a big. Oh man! Big Speaking problem of CGI, today. I think that's a big issue with a lot of movies um, now, where they're just excessively using CGI and not mastering it. Yeah, yeah. 
And if money was the problem, there were they definitely didn't plenty want money. of actors and actresses that they pulled for cameos that they didn't really need. Yeah. Oh, like the older act, like the Gal Gadot, George Clooney. Like, uh, well, I mean, that's I don't not think CGI, any of those though. were no, no, no. no. The, all the Paying money people. to pay them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Like, what did George get to get on this movie? A million dollars? True. Yeah, and more million, a million dollars true. than the CGI would have been perfectly. Fine. I, yeah, yeah, I think that would have been the move. Okay. There's we, a lot of people that didn't need to be in the movie. We did get some CGI character cameos that I forgot to mention. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Original Batman. Uh, Adam West. Adam, Adam West. West was Batman sixty six. We got George Reeves. The yeah. First Superman. The Chris. F- no, the first one that showed up, like the old white and black one that they showed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was the 1940s. There was one Superman before Christopher Reeve. Oh, and his really? name was George Reeve. Oh wow. I didn't know. Uh, sad fact. After the Superman role, he never got. He got typecasted. Never got a role in Hollywood. Oh. Got depressed and. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. So well, that's Christopher what Reeves was also apparently an asshole and was such a fucking ego mis- <laughs> ego ma- 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 maniacal guy that well, really? nobody wanted to work with him I, after that I, either. I didn't know that. <laughs> after well, all the Superman. So movies. that's why at first there was a big stigma with the Superman role that like mm-hmm. because of what happened to George Reeve. And then Chris Reeves. And then Chris yeah. Reeves. Oh, yeah. it's like the end of he your fell off a horse and got paralyzed. Yeah, it's a yeah. curse. Yeah. yeah, it's a curse. But well, Henry. Um, Henry. You know what? It's probably for the best. He's <laughs> yeah. like, get he's out like, of there before <laughs> your life's ruined. <laughs> yeah. he's like, I love that man. I love Henry Cavill. Oh man! But I wish, they also I wish showed original the Flash too. Did the original they Flash? They showed Jake They showed. Uh, they showed uh, Nicholas Cage as Nicholas Superman. Nicholas Cage Superman. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I mean, I I was geeking out in the movie theater. But many people did not know why Nicolas Cage was Superman. Nicolas Cage was supposed to be in a super, was supposed to be Superman in a movie directed by Kevin Smith. Uh, there, if you Google it, you can see images of Nicolas Cage in a Superman outfit, mm-hmm. right? And uh, he's actually fighting the bad guy that he would have fought in that movie too. That it was big supposed spider. to be a giant spider. Oh, man. And then that guy who wrote that movie. Uh, got his spider in Wild Wild West. Oh, yeah, that's where that spider comes. No into. way. Yeah, because he thought the, the giant know. spider would be the best bad guy in a movie. Wow. Yeah. It was not. Spiders. It wasn't. No. Yeah, spiders. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, so that was cool. I kind of wish we got more. You know, we got like a, a glimpse of Val Kilmer. Or Christian Bale, you know, like Grant, Grant Gustin, like. I mean, they uh, even showed Ezra in the CW. Flash. Yeah, oh, did they? they did. I don't they get did. why they didn't do that. Either. I don't know. Oh, wow. fun fact: the the cafe that they were in when when Zod made his uh mm-hmm. speech Is was actually jitters. Oh, that it was, was jitters. jitters. I, the cafe that the Flash was in. Yes, that. Yeah. If you look at the Very same, cool. it's the same shit. I was like, yo, that's just damn. Same fucking uh, scenery. Nice. Um, what would you rate it, Roberta? Me, I'd give it a 7.5. Fair. On a good day, I'll give it an 8. Because the Michael, Keaton, the, Michael, <laughs> the Michael Keaton the Michael, Michael Keaton, stuff and like the Batman stuff really got me. Uh, yeah. yeah. It shows that they can make another great Batman movie if they want to. Yeah. Uh, they And it had heart. Like, you know, with everything that, is, that this movie has gone through, like, it, it did have heart and it did, like, I feel captured Barry's essence. Yeah. Um, and... You know, uh, I'm excited to see what's because, like, with this being the ending of the Snyderverse, the next DC movie is going to be Blue Beetle, which comes out in August, mm-hmm. which we will definitely be doing. Yeah. Um, and James kind of said, Blue Beetle is the first one. Okay. Right. The Superman movie that'll come out in 2025 that he's re- writing, Superman mm-hmm. Legacy, will be the beginning of the DC the new DCU mm-hmm. but Blue Beetle will be the first one like to come out right now that that's nice connect. it's it's nice to have a lesser known superhero be the beginning of it too I mean I like it Jaime Reyes Spanish boy he's essentially the DC version of Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Yep. so I'm hoping like that that charm and I do love the kid that they pick uh, Zolo he's the um He's the kid from Cobra Kai, the main, the main yeah, guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I really enjoyed him as in Cobra Kai. Mm-hmm. And it's coming out because Cobra Kai, fin- I think the final season's coming out, as well as this, the Blue Beetle movie. So he's definitely going to be being pushed. Mm-hmm. You can see him a lot. Um, Zolo 
Mari Duenas. That's that's his name. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We I know we're getting Aquaman too, which they say is not good, but you know you'll still get your review. Yeah, we'll still get something <laughs> because that I think that will be like the final yeah error of the Snyder yeah. Because apparently Ben had a scene in that too, as well as Ezra, but they scrapped those scenes. I'm glad. I don't want to so. see Ben in it. <laughs> Ben's done. Ben's I just done. don't want... I want him to be out on a good note. He was good in this. He was good. Yeah, he yeah. was great. He even, he, uh, ben even came out saying, like, to him, this is his best portrayal of Batman yet. Yeah. And I was just like, damn, I wanted more of that. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'd give it a 7.5. Uh, at a, 7.5 to 8. Donato, you said 7. Maz, you said 6.57. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, babe, what you what you give the movie? Um, I'd say around seven. Yeah. Okay, four. So yeah, you know, better Averaging than we seven. Yeah, better than we expected. Uh, and better than you expected. <laughs> it's a little less than what I expected, but it's okay. You expected more? I did. There was a lot of I, hype behind the movie. I guess uh, it's usually not uh, a plot issue. I guess because too. like I'm, I have my ear close to like. Yeah. everything like mm, with social yeah. media and stuff so like that's why my expectations were lower and I was just like yeah but you probably just watched the trailer a few times and we're like yeah, yeah. this was looks amazing like, yeah. <laughs> and then the CGI was PS2 graphics yeah, <laughs> yeah. and the no. plot holes the little hey listen there. all I know is that the director said that is what Barry says he sees in the <laughs> yeah, Speed Force okay. which is ridiculous but it is what it is um that's it for us. Uh, this was a long one. I apologize. But, you know, we were just talking. We were having fun. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, please get this to... A, let's get 75 subs. We'll get 50 subs again. That would be nice. Uh, this, yeah. is, this is a long video. Yeah. Uh, Let us know what you guys think. Yes. Yeah. Please, did you watch What's it? What's your favorite Batman? <laughs> Who will play Batman next? Are they going to keep George Clooney? Ooh. <laughs> Are we going to switch to Robert? Are we going to get Nick Cage oh, Robin, as Superman? Robin Pattinson, they already said, is Elseworld. Elseworld? Yeah, so the Elseworlds, um, James Gunn said, Elseworld is going to be Teen Times Go, because that's still going on. Superman and Lois, which is actually doing very well on CW. Yeah, it's because it's uh, not a CW show, it's just on CW. Okay, that that's makes sense. Why. That makes sense. That is actually why. <laughs> that makes sense. So <laughs> uh, We have um, the Joker. The, uh, oh, that's Joaquin right. Phoenix. That's Elseworld, as well as Robert Pattinson's Batman. That's Elseworld. Okay. So, everything else going forward, though, that James Gunn says, will be in the universe, and they will make sure to tell people like what is Elseworld. Good. That's what everyone, you know, so that yeah. no one gets, you know, confused. Confused. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it for us. Uh, it's your boy, Mr. G. The Remember, old like bagel. And subscribe. Mass. Always. Thank you guys for everything. Peace. Peace. Better.